Okay, I'm on record. Okay. Hey everybody, uh, it is good seeing you. I am going to make this video short. I have my helper, Grayson, there in the background helping me. You'll notice that, oh, Grayson, don't put your hand in front of the screen, son. Uh, you'll notice that I am here in the sanctuary. Uh, I was able to come to the church today. Hopefully you've seen the news that uh, both my wife and I are COVID negative, meaning that uh, we don't have to be worried about uh, spreading that around to anyone. Um, I'm glad we took the precaution on Sunday. I know it was the right decision, but I'm also very glad to be able to be here in the church um, with you where I hope to be with you again soon. Uh, I will not be there with you this coming Sunday. We had planned a long time ago to be out of town this weekend, just my wife and I. So uh, we will not be there this Sunday, uh, both churches. This is a recording for both churches at Lizella as well as at Wesley. Uh, you guys have different speakers. Sarah Pounds, a college student from uh, the Wesley Foundation, will be at Wesley United Methodist Church at 11. Reverend Joe McDaniel, uh, a local Baptist minister, retired minister, will be here at Lizella United Methodist Church at 930. Anyway, listen, uh, I'm not going to let this video go on and on and on, but I do have a special announcement for you guys, and it has to do with this book. Hopefully you can see it. Grayson, can you see it? Yes. All right. So this book here is a, a special book to me. It is one that is all about uh, spiritual disciplines and discernment. Um, and even when I say it that way, I feel like I'm not doing it justice because that sounds like a lot of work. This book is actually uh, a not about a lot of work. This book is about paying attention to where you are and allowing God to uh, live with you, giving God space to be with you, but also more importantly, becoming attentive to the work that God is doing. This is a book by, um, uh, by Leighton Ford uh, called The Attentive Life, Discerning God's Presence in All Things. Uh, this is a, a book that was actually assigned to me for a spiritual formation course at Asbury. And I want you to hear the back. It says, pay attention. Distractions and fear and busyness were keeping Leighton Ford from seeing God's work in and around him. So he began a journey of longing for God, and it started with paying attention. In these pages, pages he invites you to go on the journey with him. Using the rich tradition of, the, of praying the hours, Ford will walk with you, helping you pay attention to God's work in you and around you throughout each day and in different seasons of your life. The way toward God starts with intention and attention and eventually becomes a way of life, awake and alive to the peaceful, powerful presence of God. We're going to do a, a, a book study with this. Now, this is going to be a different book study than I have ever done. Uh, this is going to be a book study that has a, a part online component as well as a part discussion component as well as a in-person component. So there are a lot of things that are going on with this, but I don't want to scare you away. This is uh, going to be a really great opportunity for any of you to join at any time with us in doing this book study. I've never done it like this before, but y'all, I'm really excited about it. Um, and so uh, I hope that you go ahead and begin picking up the book. Uh, the plan is to start the first part of the discussion the second week of October. So you will hear more about this uh, as time comes, but essentially it's going to go like this. At the end of October and at the end of November, first part of December, we will have um, ah. two... Uh-oh. Oh, so, oh, it just turned off for a minute. And then it That's okay. Back on. All right. We're good. We still recording? Yes. Okay, good. So at the uh, end of October and at the end of November, early part of December, we're going to have two gatherings for those who are comfortable to come. And that, that will be the only two times that we meet in person to discuss what's in this book. But every week, I'm going to produce a video just like I'm doing right now, where I highlight some of the things that were special to me out of the book, uh, as well as um, highlighting some of the questions that are at the end of each chapter. But you'll see that uh, I'm also going to invite you to download an app on your phone. It's called Marco Polo. Uh, if you have a smartphone, it's called Marco Polo. It's kind of like a walkie-talkie, but what it will do is it will allow you at any point in any time record yourself uh, responding to the prompt that I've put out each Monday, I think is the plan. So I, I know this sounds crazy, but it, it's really, it, it's pretty simple. Every week I'll put out a video. You can uh, read a lot, you can watch the video. 
you can read the book along with me. And um, if you would like to join in the discussion part, then we're not gonna do Zoom, we're not gonna do live video sessions where we've all gotta be on at the same time. Uh, for those of you who are willing to give it a shot, we're gonna try an app called Marco Polo, and we're all going to be able to respond to each other. And then two times over the course of the next 10 weeks, we are gonna meet in person to discuss where we've gotten to this point. This is a weird so, app. What's that? This is a weird app. It is a weird app. I know, it's crazy, and it's gonna be a learning curve for some, but actually it's really easy, and I'm willing to help anyone set it up who wants to. So if you're someone who has a crazy schedule, this Bible study is for you. If you're somebody who's never been able to join with us in a Bible study before, this is definitely a Bible study for you. If you've had choir and other things that have gotten in the way of being able to do a Bible study with me, this is a great opportunity. And I can't think of a better book than this one. Uh, I have questioned the books before that I've chosen for these studies, but I really am excited about um, the, um, the awareness that Leighton Ford wants to call us to as Christians. So guys, I know this video is getting long, so I'm gonna let it uh, uh, cut short, um, not cut short, but I'm gonna let it cut off. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to post those below. I'm gonna put this video, I'm gonna link this video in an email. Feel free to respond to the email. Many of you have my phone number, feel free to call or text me. I would love to have 100 people join with me in this Bible study, or 10, or five, or whoever's willing to do it. Uh, but truly, I think that you're gonna be blessed. So go pick up the book. I've gotten mine on amazon.com, The Attent of Life. Uh, if you let me know within the next week or so, we might even be willing to put together a bulk order and get several for many of you. Um, but go ahead and get it. Uh, we will begin again that second week of October. I hope to uh, have you join with us in this Bible study soon. So until then, uh, I hope you're well, be blessed, and um, we'll see you next time. Grayson, push the red button.